we met Arsenal and Bab. Look at me licking my lips. That would be a massive sign of intent. That would get Arsene Wenger seriously off the hook. Um, the question I would ask, though, is that for a player that surely should be super ambitious, why would you go to Arsenal at the moment? Um, I've talked about clubs like Manchester City buying several players. Uh, I went to Aston Villa and went to Liverpool as the player to make the difference, and I regret doing that. The reason why is, is that no one player makes the difference over a 38-game season. It's a squad. So if you're a player like Mbappe, you're looking at squads that can help carry him. He's still a young boy. Um, so to be able to fill in and help him. What Arsenal don't need now is somebody that's going to be labelled the new Thierry Henry. He comes into the world's toughest league, which is 10 times more difficult than Monaco. Forget that Monaco did well in the Champions League. That's a confidence trick. P dominate teams in a, in, a, in a weak French league that builds your confidence to such levels that you can ta take and transfer that into the Champions League. They've got a good side, no doubt about it. But in the Premier League, it's a grind. Now, if Alexis Sanchez goes, it's a lot of goals missing. Uh, Danny Welbeck, hit and miss at the moment. Olivier Giroud, he would perhaps be the player to make way. And then you're looking at it and you're thinking... And Bab signs for Arsenal, the man, he's going to fire us back into the Champions League. Too much pressure for a kid of that age, still as a rookie. Um, and with no Champions League football. Uh, that wouldn't matter for me so much because of his age, because he has time to develop. Um, but if I was Mbappe, I wouldn't be going to Arsenal, even if they offered him three, four hundred grand a week. If he's going to go to a Champions League club, you go to a Champions League club where there are five or six other players around you and in your positions and creatively that are immediately going to get the best out of you. I do not believe Arsenal uh, that that will be the case. Having said that, if he comes in, there's going to be lots of talk. I wish the lad all the very best. But I think going to Arsenal at this stage would be a massive mistake for the kid. Um, of course, if they do get him, that's Silvio Giroud, already rumoured Newcastle. Um, if Alexis Sanchez goes, that obviously opens up a, a second striker role, a left, centre, well, forget centre, that's Ozil, Ozil, uh, or the right, Riyad Mahrez. I think the fact that Riyad Mahrez has already said that he wants out and he wants to take the step up. Um, of course, we're playing in the Champions League with Leicester to maybe the Europa League with Arsenal, the irony of ironies. But... A bigger club. Um, I think that if Sanchez went, uh, Mares would be perfect. Now, whether he is of the requisite quality and consistency to be able to go to Arsenal and do what Alexis Sanchez has pretty much done wherever he's been, jury's out. He, he, the last two um, players of the year, PFA players of the year, Eden Hazard and um, Riyad Mahrez, essentially tossed the season off the next season. For me, that says, yeah, we do it one season, we've arrived, great. Great players continue to, to do it. I'm not sure that Riyad Mahrez falls into that category yet. But they would obviously have to weigh in significantly with goals if um, Alexis Sanchez were to go. The rumours, well, it's not rumours, apparently it's fact that Mbappe is on their radar. If they don't get him, um, that's a massive statement. We want to get him to fall away from. Um, is that they might just have to uh, keep calm and carry on because they're going to struggle to get some of the big names in European football to the club, even if they offer them money because they're not in the Champions League.